And just as I was going to start the um, degrouting process, somebody purchased the stove. So one less thing in the way. I still have to move that monster, but I think I'm going to get started just so I feel like I did something productive. But I'll move all of that when I'm further along. Okay, just finished. I scraped out a bunch of grout so that I can re-grout and this time hopefully do the job correctly. I'll preface the video by pointing out that these are the clips that I used to separate my tiles. So it's fairly narrow for comparison. Here's a putty knife. So you can see the, the tiles are fairly close together. This is not a standard grout saw. It's the most narrow thing that my supplier had in stock. And in some cases it was not narrow enough. I started with this guy here, that grout remover, so that's a sharp triangle. And finally, because I thought that this might not do the trick, and, and honestly that was a Hail Mary, anyway, I got a cutting disc for masonry, the most narrow one that I could find. It fit beautifully in almost all locations, and was more effective than either of the other two. This one was great for getting a groove started so that this would fall into the groove. If I ever have to do this job again, I probably would again start with this and then move to this because if by any chance this skips out of the trench, it will absolutely abrade the, the finish on the tile.